Let's work on this problem. Find the fourth degree Taylor polynomial for the function f of x is equal to ln x centered at c equal 1 and use it to approximate the natural log of 1.1. So let's write a general formula for the nth degree Taylor polynomial. So it's equal to f of c plus f prime of c times x minus c to the first power over 1 factorial plus f double prime of c times x minus c to the second power over 2 factorial and then plus the third derivative. So hopefully by now you can see a pattern. And then this will continue until we reach the nth derivative and that's where we'll stop. So that's the formula that we need to use. So we want to find the fourth degree Taylor polynomial. So we need to find the first four derivatives. Now f of x is equal to the natural log of x. So the first derivative is going to be 1 over x. Now we can rewrite 1 over x as x to the minus 1. So in order to find the second derivative, we could use the power rule. So this is going to be negative 1x to the negative 2, which is negative 1 over x squared. And then the third derivative, the derivative of x to the negative 2 is negative 2x to the minus 3. So this is going to be positive 2 over x cubed. And now we get to find the fourth derivative. And so that's going to be 2 times the derivative of x to the negative 3. So that's negative 3x to the minus 4. So this becomes negative 6 divided by x to the fourth power. Now, f of 1, or f of c, because c is 1, that's the natural log of 1, which is 0. And then f prime of 1, that's going to be 1 over 1, so that's simply 1. And then f double prime of 1, if we plug it into negative 1 over x squared, that's just going to be negative 1. And then for the third derivative, that's 2 over 1 cubed, so that's simply 2. And then finally, for the fourth derivative, this is going to be negative 6 over 1, or simply negative 6. So now let's write out the fourth degree polynomial. So we said it was f of c, or f of 1, which is 0. And then plus, it was f prime of c, which is 1, times x minus c, and c is 1, over 1 factorial, which we don't need to write right now. And then it's going to be f double prime of 1, which is negative 1, times x minus c squared, or x minus 1 squared, over 2 factorial. And then it's going to be f triple prime of 1, which is 2, times x minus c to the third power divided by 3 factorial and then the last term is f prime of 4 which is negative 6 times x minus 1 to the fourth power over 4 factorial so now let's simplify what we have so we don't need to worry about the 0 and so the first term we have x minus 1 and then this is just negative 1 over 2. So we can write that as negative 1 half x minus 1 squared. Now what is 2 divided by 3 factorial? 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. So we can cancel a 2 and we're going to get 1 over 3. So this is going to be plus 1 third x minus 1 to the third power. And then we need to simplify negative 6 over 4 factorial. So 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And so 6 cancels with 3 times 2. And so we're left with negative 1 fourth x minus 1 to the 4th power. And so this 
is the fourth degree Taylor polynomial. So now let's use it to approximate ln 1.1. So plug in 1.1 into this expression. So 1.1 minus 1 is 0.1. So this is going to be 0.1 minus half of 0.1 squared plus a third of 0.1 cubed minus 1 fourth of 0.1 raised to the fourth power. So go ahead and type that in. So I got 0 0.09530833333. Now let's get the exact answer. So the natural log of 1.1 is 0 0.09531017798. So you could see that both answers are very close. So we could round this and say it's about 0 0.09. 531. And that would be a good estimation of the natural log of 1.1. Now let's work on this one. Find the fourth degree Maclaurin polynomial for f of x is equal to e to the x and use it to approximate e to the point 2. So the Maclaurin polynomial is basically the Taylor polynomial centered at 0. That's the only difference. So you could use the same formula but c is equal to 0. So let's write the general formula first for the nth degree polynomial. So instead of f of c, it now becomes f of 0. And instead of f prime of c times x minus c, it's now f prime of 0 times x minus 0, which is simply x. So this is going to be x to the first power over 1 factorial. And then it's going to be the second derivative, f double prime of 0, times x squared over 2 factorial. And this trend will continue until you get to the nth degree, where you want to stop, times x to the n over n factorial. Now, f of x is e to the x. And f prime of x is also e to the x. And this will just continue. So f of 0, which is e to the 0, that's 1. And so f prime of 0, that's going to be the same thing. So f double prime of 0 is also 1. f triple prime of 0, that's 1 as well. So we're looking for the fourth degree polynomial. And so f of 0 is 1. And then f prime of 0 is 1 times x over 1 factorial. And then f double prime of 0, that's going to stay 1. And then that's going to be x squared over 2 factorial. And then it's going to be f triple prime of 0. That's going to be 1 as well. And then it's going to be x cubed over 3 factorial. And then x to the 4th over 4 factorial. And we're going to stop at 4. So I'm going to rewrite this expression. So this is 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial. So now let's use our fourth degree Maclaurin polynomial to approximate this expression. So let's plug in 0.2. So this is going to be 1 plus 0.2 plus 0.2 squared over 2 factorial plus 0.2 cubed over 3 factorial and then plus 0.2 to the 4th power over 4 factorial. So you should get 1.2214. So that's our estimation. And now let's compare it to the exact answer. So e raised to the point 2, if you type that in, you should get 
1.22140758. So this is a good estimation of the real answer. And so you could use the Taylor polynomial and the Maclaurin polynomial to represent real functions. And you can approximate function values when it's close to some central value. In this case, 0.2 is close to 0. This particular function is centered at 0. Now, if you want to increase the accuracy of your approximation, increase the value of n. So for instance, the fifth degree polynomial is going to give you a better approximation than the fourth degree polynomial.